The truth about enhanced conversions via Google, do they actually work? What's going on, everybody? David Feldman Macrius, and I wanted to bring you some insight because my team has been testing enhanced conversions, implementing enhanced conversions. It takes a little bit of effort to do, and anything we have to do differently via Google telling us to do it or Google recommending us to do it doesn't always yield the best results, and that's why we check in to see if all of our efforts are actually worth it. So, Let's see what we got. First and foremost, before I tell you exactly if the enhanced conversions are, work, are worth it via Google's tracking, let's define what enhanced conversions are. So I type into Google, what are Google Ads enhanced conversions? And it spits out, um, Google Ads enhanced conversions is a feature that improves conversion measurement accuracy and bidding capabilities. We saw more of enhanced conversions come out very closely related to Google Analytics 4. And that has to do with a lot of the ways that Google has changed its ability to track users and how it identifies people. So Google still knows where everybody is and what everybody's doing, but we can't, Google won't really give the same information as they used to to the advertiser or the ads platform to manipulate. So we have to use these different ways to track and really see are our conversions working. So enhanced conversions is basically, you know, it's a conversion that's enhanced, but it's supposed to be more accurate. How it works, enhanced conversion sends hashed first party customer data from a website to Google in a secure way. This data can include email addresses, names, phone numbers, and home addresses. So basically when someone fills out a lead form, right? When someone fills out a lead form on a website, they fill out typically that information, email, name, phone number, home address. What essentially enhanced conversions means is that there's some additional script on the website that allows Google to obtain that PII information via hash files, correlate it back to its system in the ads campaigns, and then identify, oh, did this person come from our campaigns and it, did we truly affect that lead form submission? It's great in theory. How it's used, the hash data is matched with signed in Google accounts to attribute conversions to ad events like views or clicks. Benefits, enhanced conversions can help advertisers understand their audience, you know, can gain a deeper understanding of their audience, create more relevant and personalized campaigns, improve targeting accuracy, calculate accurate ROAS, and then it gives me a couple of things, how to set up and privacy. So this is not a video on how to set up. That's a little more complicated. And even when I click the first link here about enhanced conversions, when we click here, this is Google's article, right? Enhanced conversions. It gives the entire synopsis of how it works, the hashing algorithm, how it actually works. I like this part here, enhanced conversions for web. So this is a very simple way to understand. Google signed in user views your YouTube ad as an example. The user converts on your website, meaning they actually fill out, let's say, a lead form. This conversion tag captures a field you determine, but the difference between a normal conversion tag and this enhanced conversion, conversion tag is that it's going to take that first party information. It's going to take the actual name, email, phone number, whatever information you're requiring them to submit. It's going to send it back to Google to be able to match that person right? That's the difference. And it does it in a hash file way, but it's allowing Google to still know who that person is. The hash data is matched against Google hash user data and a conversion is reported in your account. So um, I'm going to include this support article in the description of this video if you'd like to know more information, but let me actually get you some hard numbers on what we're seeing as far as preliminary results with enhanced conversions. This was actually back uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this is from Seth. You've seen him on the channel before. He wrote an email to me because he's pioneering this tracking. Hey, David, over the last month or so, we've made a pretty big push to ensure all of our accounts are set up with enhanced conversions. According to the diagnostics we get from Google, it has led to some slight increase in conversion tracking. Example, client A, 4% in reported conversions since September 15th, about six purchases. Client B, 
up 12% in reported conversions since September 15th, uh, up about six form submits. Client C, up 17% in reported conversions since September 15th, uh, about 20 form submits. Thought you might find it interesting. Many of the accounts don't have enough conversion volume to show these metrics just yet, just so you know. So that's the insight. Is it yielding more conversions? Yes. Now, is it going to solve your attribution problem forever and the most accurately way possible? No. It just allows better clarity and allows you to somewhat know which campaigns are affecting you know, the most as far as form submits or purchases or whatever your case may be. In car dealer speak, it's typically a form submit, but that's the problem too, because not all, not all interactions, right, uh, happen via form submit. So for car dealers, you know, I think it's something to make sure you have, but you shouldn't do it yourself. You should make sure your ad team does it for you and ask them about what the difference is between conversions and enhanced conversions, and they should be able to tell you because it does matter to the amount of leads you get. But that's that's one of the things. There's so many different lead sources, especially if a big dealer has one. Um, it, form submits are dying. They have been for a while. They still happen, but chat interactions, phone calls, this isn't the only thing we should focus on. So we have to bring it into, into perspective. You know, this is not a video to say you have to make sure you're getting all the Google ads enhanced conversions. You should, it's best practice, but it's not going to make or break your business if you don't have this set up everywhere possible. And the biggest crux is because enhanced conversions at this time does not link back to a chat. It does not link back to a phone call. It only links back to a form submit, right? But if your business is a different local business and you rely on form submits heavily, awesome. Uh, if you're an e-commerce business, this could yield a lot of great insight too because it's going to link back to purchases, add to carts, begin checkouts, so on and so forth. So that is pretty much it. Preliminary reports up anywhere from 4% to 17% in conversion tracking. Um, definitely is best practice. You should know to do that. If you would like to know more about enhanced conversions or your business, um, you know, if you guys want to you not if you guys want to utilize, if you want to know if your business should use enhanced conversions and if you already are or not, and you're not sure and you, your ad team is not sure for whatever reason, or you don't have an ad team, leave me some comments. I'd be happy to do a free consultation for anybody that has a business a car dealership, uh, e-commerce, anyone that has a local business as well that is willing to comment on my channel and let me know. Thank you so much, David Feldman Macrius, and we'll be back in another video. We'll be back. I'll be back. Someone will be back. Probably will be me or the dogs. I don't know. See you later, guys. Thank you.